God is very very kind and I come from a family of doctors. Yeah. And I love Puri sir. <laughs> he is he's amazing. I thought it's fake. Why will such a big director like you know call me? So I told him please don't waste my time and I cut the phone. Little girl who was asking mom how do I get there? I didn't know it's such a long journey but wow it was it was crazy. Yeah. I never thought that one day I'm going to be a part of I had a feeling somewhere Chupe bangara mayane shivalli navve navaratna mayane Hi Ketika Garu Hello. welcome to you? Film Companion Thank Sao. you so much How are you I'm very well how are you I'm good thank you So first what a beautiful name you know I was trying to know the meaning of your name and that's even more beautiful because I have it right here okay. and it says your destiny heart's desire and personality and it has all beautiful things you know that name so can you tell us what is the meaning of your name exactly um, I'll tell you this is an interesting story uh, when when my mom was giving birth to me there was an announcement in the hospital uh, nurse ketika you are required Oh nurse ketika you are required you know to the room and my dad was like ketika that's a very different name and uh, you know then after i was delivered and i came into this world then my father was like can you please like you know i really like her name uh, what does it mean and she was like you know there's a south indian flower called ketaki flower oh it's also inspired by that and also means these several things and uh, that's why my father was like okay she's going to be ketika so oh, i was i was named after the nurse yeah <laughs> that helped to live on me oh nice so you know from being a from being an independent girl you know earning through social media and uh, you know giving a speech in tedx you know you've come like so far so did you reach to what you were you know in your mind thinking that i have to do this i have to do that so are your checklist done Not at all. I have a huge checklist, and okay. uh, I mean, but where I have come till now is also no less than a dream because um, God is very, very kind, and I come from a family of doctors. Yeah, which my have, next question was yes, that. Yeah, which which have uh, no links with the industry, right? So, uh, like you know, and this was like a far fetched. far fetch dreamy land which yeah. i always wanted to be a part of and uh, yeah now i am so honestly i'm living a dream but um, my i want to do a lot more and i have a lot bigger higher dreams and god willing i will achieve them all you will you will <laughs> so you said you come from a family of doctors yes. right and you said you all, always wanted to you know be in this industry yeah, sure. entertainment industry See. So where did this start you know was there any moment or any yeah. movie or any song which I'll like you, you you which one yeah so, uh, so uh, there was this movie called Dil to Pagal hai i don't know if yeah. you heard in yeah. hindi yeah. Yeah. it's a shahrukh khan film yeah um madhuri dikshit and karishma kapoor and uh, i was really little and it was i think it was i think my first movie ever and i was asking my mom that how are they on the big screen you know how are they there these people yeah. so big <laughs> and you know i was asking us and she was like they are actors i was like but how do how do i go there so she saying you have to be an actor to go there that's how it started oh so from childhood from from that from my wow. first movie i told her that i want to be there on that big screen you know that was it and um, around the 8th grade you know uh, i was telling my friends we watching a film and i was telling my friends that um, you all are going to see me on the screen one day and then you're when, so confident yeah i just knew that this is what i want to do you know and uh, even my friends were always so supportive no one quest- questioned it and i was so geeky looking in school no one would have thought that you know i'd be an actor and then uh, yeah romantic happened when i saw myself on the big screen for the first time i had shivers in my body because that little girl who was asking mom how do i get there i didn't know it's such a long journey but wow it was it was crazy yeah now that you're talking about romantic you've been launched by puri garu you know and that was in very first movie yes. so weren't you scared that you know you're doing your debut in a altogether new industry a language which you've like never heard hmm. you know how is it how was your state of mind when you first knew that you're doing this but you lo- you obviously have that jitters right yes. telugu cinema which you know yes. born and brought up in delhi in delhi Norton, actually yeah. yes and delhi has a lot of punjab influence yeah. Yeah. it has a lot of hindi cinema influence 
so you know because it's more of the punjab side so obviously i didn't know many people mm. in i didn't know anyone actually uh, would, would you from, watch telugu movies then if i would i would watch them hindi dubbed okay. at the time yeah, because course, i never yeah. i never thought that one day i'm going to be a part of i had a feeling somewhere that okay. i might get a break in the south industry i just had a feeling somewhere when i never and i remember i used to get you know when i shifted to bombay you know to pursue acting sometimes you know you'd get fake calls that you know uh, yeah. that you know like, this yeah. is a south film and we want to meet you and all you have to be very careful that you know you can't like give in to like you have to be cautious you have to ask them questions where are you calling from which you know so i one day got a call from maniraj ji who used to work in puri connects okay he called me and he said hi i am calling from puri connects Puri sir wants to meet you and we want to fly you down to Hyderabad. <laughs> so I was, I I quickly confirmed that you know is is Puri sir the same Puri sir he's talking about who's you know जिनके yeah. remake हुआ है wanted you yeah, know the big big film yeah. which have been remade yeah. of Puri sir. Yeah. He's taking such a big person's name. I thought it's fake. Why will such a big director like you know call me? So I told him please don't waste my time and I cut the phone because I thought it's a fake call. Yeah. and then you know uh, maniraj ji got so jittery what what is she saying and then you know he found some links of some someone who knew me and you know why are her you know uh, they said that uh, it's a genuine call they're calling you from puri connects and puri so likes so he seen your pictures on instagram he really likes your look and everything and you know um, he wants to call you down and uh, i think i was like okay and that's how it happened i flew down i met sir everybody was so warm so amazing sir is the chillest person in the world you know he instantly can make you feel so comfortable because he's so ground that's his beauty yeah. you know and um, it just it just went like butter man like i just i don't know i it, it's so amazing how i flew down i met him i tested for the part and uh, i had actually interestingly come down to test for uh, nabha nitesh's role in um, ismart shankar oh okay an interesting fact which no one yeah. <laughs> i had they had called me for that but sir looked at me and he was like you know what i really like her for romantic Hmm. and you know they changed my script and i was like what happened you know <laughs> and and you know they were and he was like no i i i've just changed your script i want you to you know test for you know this lead role in a movie called romantic it's uh, opposite my son and i was like okay and then you know i tested for it and i got the part and i came back to my parents with a movie in my hands and they were like wow you know <laughs> you you did it <laughs> so yeah so there's no looking back from then absolutely not. i there was no looking back ever you know but i am just so so glad that you know and i love puri so <laughs> he is he's amazing so how are you picking up the language you know well i am taking telugu classes uh, i've taken a few I've, i understand a lot of it um and of course it's a lot easier for me to learn my lines now and say them because you know i've been here for a while so i i know very little right now i know here they're far and few i'm not very confident to make sentences because i'm very conscious of making mistakes and goofing up while talking but uh, <laughs> i know a little i i think i i know a good like a okay. good small percentage okay so you're slowly becoming the telugu heroine i am very soon going to become a proper <laughs> complete like prop, a complete. complete out yeah. and out telugu heroine yeah <laughs> So how did Rangaranga Vaibhavanga happen? Oh, how did that happen? Um, I remember at that time, I was in the middle of my second film. I was shooting Lakshya. We were in the, we were, I think, going to wrap the movie or something. And uh, I got a call from my director, my romantic director, Anil sir, called me and he said. um that uh, you know vaishnav tej do you know him mm. and vaishnav uh, upana had not released that yeah he told me yesterday that you know uh, he got the script even before upana upana released he may have got yeah. it before upana yeah. but uh, but when i when his name was taken to me at the time upana was set to release a week okay. a, a week after i got that call okay. so uh, you know i never knew anything about him and he was like have you heard of vaishnav tej and uh i was like i i think i do i think his movie opena is going to release and he said yes you know he's um chiri garu uh, garu's nephew and uh, you know it's going to 
it's going to be really good if you you know get to do a movie with him because he's very well placed and mm. there's good hype around him and all and you know i was like okay you know uh, why not and then i i went i met so i heard the script I loved the script. So it was amazing. I met Vaishnav also. He was extremely nice to meet and everything, and it happened. So usually, na in uh, in Telugu cinema particularly, people will be like, "Why are they getting you know Hindi speaking heroines to Telugu cinema? They can use Telugu heroines, and you know there's th that kind of mindset is still there, you know. And yeah. we can't change. We can't go to every person and tell that talent is what matters. End of the day, right? So. when that comes to your ears i mean if it did how would you react you know i mean i honestly uh, i really respect people's opinions and feelings you know if if uh, they feel a certain way why not they have the right to feel that way uh but uh, what i can do from my side is if i have got the opportunity to be launched then i'm going to try and do my best so that they aren't let down and they yeah. think you know why not someone else like at least i want to do my best so that they think okay fine we like her you know she's working hard yeah. she's entertaining us we like her so i think that's what i can do i can just work hard and win my place in their heart so i'm really curious you know i ask all the actors about how they get into the skin of a character yeah. but i'm really curious to know how you get into the character because it's very hard for you to first understand the lines and you know and say them and No, it's really hard. But yeah. how do you like actually become that person? Well, um, first and foremost, I definitely need the lines in advance. Okay. okay. You know, um, if there is a major scene tomorrow where uh, I have big chunks of dialogues, I need them at least two days prior, because once I have the lines. memorize and once that's out of the way then i can you know focus on my character and you know i can you know whatever the story is i can write a background for the character according to the story and then i can get into the skin of the character and just go i, I like to play off my actor as well yeah. whoever i'm acting with the i like to play off with the energy the feeling the right. intensity right. with which he's you know saying his dialogues to me but all that only happens if i have my lines done sometimes you know um like if it's just one liners and like you know small small dialogues that can like even if it's being changed on the on the spot yeah, yeah. it can still be like you know if you're getting confused can still be prompted and you can just catch on and like you know you can do it but with the big dialogues i do take a little, like i have to learn it properly because you know if i'm a, if i'm not confident about my lines then you know it does throw me off a little bit but uh, yeah i i am so passionate about acting that i really like to be prepared you know i like to be prepared when i'm on set yeah i can relate to that because i just saw you you know looking at the lines and you're <laughs> just you know repeating and learning learning, learning. <laughs> so i want you to you know i don't want your hard work to go in vain so Aww. please sing a song oh my god you want yeah. me to sing a yeah. song yeah Oh my god because you were just rehearsing the I was, lines also I I was learning it but yeah. then they called me for for this <laughs> Let me sing you Should I sing you a, a song from my movie Any anything works even a Hindi song works I mean Anything works so i love bunny sir should i okay. sing you of course should i sing yeah please two lines of shrivalli sure look at look at the song i'm picking <laughs> look at my guts hai na chupe bangara mayane shrivalli navve navratna mayane chupe bangara mayane shrivalli navve navratna mayane So nice. Thank you. That's so nice. <laughs> okay, Thank so you. now that we are back to our questions, okay? I've seen your TEDx speech, you yeah. know, and it was about loving yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Mainly, majorly about loving yourself. Yes. So, you know, usually at that age, we don't focus more on loving ourselves, you know. Usually, but how did that thing come to you? You know, that's kind of philosophical, which is like. should which should be there yeah. but at that age you know what made you think about that 
I'll tell you, um, actually, I, uh, do you know that when dub smashes had come, do you remember yeah. the phase of yeah. dub smash? Yeah. Before TikTok, there yes. was dub yes, smash. Yes, yes, yes. Where, you know, there would be the movie dialogues. Sure, sure. Yeah. And then we would enact the movie. Yeah. So I was like, I had just passed out from school. I was in college and I was doing a lot of dub smashes. And I don't know, one day I just went viral okay. with my dub smashes. Okay. And I gained this instant popularity on Instagram. And... Uh, Suddenly, I'm seeing my followers growing and you know, like, I don't know, I, I think the Dub Smash India had compiled my videos and said, oh, look at this Dub Smash queen and I, mean, I gained this popularity and I suddenly, I, I was getting like, you know, my followers were increasing and I was getting a lot of love and, but then at that age, when you're like really young, you know, uh, you really, uh, overwhelming. Yeah, it's very overwhelming and you really believe everything that's coming your way. Yeah. Every, at that age, you're so vulnerable and you're so open to everything that the world tells you. So with social media, you know, there's love also and there's a lot of hate also. Of course, People of can course. be very, very rude on social media. They can yeah. say nasty things to you. And at that time, you know, I was, I was reading everything. But then when I would read some real extreme things, it would really affect me, you know. And, uh, so you would read everything. Hey, At that comments. age, when it had, when Instagram was really, really new, I would yeah. read everything, you know, and it would affect me. Like a lot of hate you, it, it took to me. And then, you know, somewhere, you know, it started, I started doubting myself and I started questioning myself. Am I doing this correctly? Am I looking proper when I'm saying this? Oh, do I, like, you know, like just, just small, conscious, small things. Yeah. I started getting very conscious, lots of self-doubt. And, you know, when all of that happens, then you stop doing what you did in the first place. You start, stop, you start getting into a little shell, you start becoming unmotivated and all of that, you know, lots of things. And uh, I went through this phase where I, where I wasn't quite, after like a big high came a low, you know, I wasn't yeah. quite happy with, and I started doubting myself, like these dreams also became a little bit of a, you know, blur because yeah. I was like, I don't know, because you know, I, at that age, I was so open to receiving everything that was coming my way. And that's why when, you know, and then of course later, you know, I jumped right back up because nothing is forever. No uh, low is forever. And I would actually like to say this to the camera if, sure, if viewers please. are watching. If you are not in a good place, it is not going to stay forever because life always goes like this. So hang in there. And if you are low, that's what I, I even said in my TEDx that, you know, mm. just find gratitude. There's always something to be grateful for yeah. always and absolutely no one's opinions matter other than what you believe of yourself because what you think of yourself is your reality no one else you know no nobody else matters it's it's nice when they're nice to you but you know if they think differently that's okay you know because what you think of yourself is what matters at the end of the day yeah, that's beautiful yeah so you, you also spoke about the self-help books. So which yeah. is your favorite? I mean, see, which honestly, book would you suggest? Honestly, I had started, see, all the self-help books, most of them, they talk about gratitude. Because, you know, when you're not in a good place, but then say whatever you're stressed about, okay? Whatever you're stressed about. If you still find time in the morning to get up and be like, oh my God, I'm so thankful I woke up today. I'm so thankful I have a fully functioning body. I live in this comfortable house in a bed. I eat, I'm fine, I'm alive, I have a family. If you have these pointers checked, you're good. <laughs> there are a lot of people who have a bad life, yeah. you know. Yeah. It, they have a sad life. They don't have these basic things. So when we make things larger than life, you know, say there's a relationship drama, family drama, kuch, you know, we make it larger than life, no? You have to, you have to somewhere center yourself and remember, okay, let's just be grateful for this present moment. After that, I'm going to think about how I want to approach the next. So, um, well, I love a lot of self-help books. I love this book called, I can't say the word, but it's a book called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I love that book. And um, uh, there are several others. I... I love The Secret. Secret talks a lot about, you know, uh, gratitude and, you know, mm. what you think is what you attract and all of that. So, yeah. Okay. 
So, uh, you also worked in a private album in the North, right? I mean, in Hindi cinema. That was just a single... No, no, no. My, my question is, what's the difference that you see in Telugu cinema and, you know, other language? Yeah, no, no, no. That's, that's not... Um, I've not worked in the Bondi, Hindi industry yeah. yet. Okay. I haven't. Okay. So, I wouldn't know the difference. That was just a single song which I had done and taken out. <laughs> and, uh, okay. So I haven't had that experience yet okay. to that I can compare. But uh, what I have heard is that the that working in the Telugu industry is a lot nicer. People are more respectful. They pamper you, and because I've started from here, where I really be pam I'm pampered by everyone. <laughs> so when I've started with so much love, then I really hope that you know it's maintained there because I'm spoiled in the love, Hena. Right? Yeah. So, how was your experience working with Girish Ayagar one day? He worked in a uh, Tamil movie first, Kada. I put Mali Telugu. So, Miku, how was it? Um, very nice experience. Yeah, he's a very, very sweet. He's, he's a very sweet, nice person. Um, he has a lot of clarity, and he's very passionate you know, about the project. So when someone is coming with so much passion and before every scene, he's so energetic <laughs> and he's telling you the scene with so much energy, then you want to, it also kind of lifts you up to kind of, you know, live up to that scene. And you know, he's, he's very, very passionate. He's uh, very clear with what he wants and uh, he's very confident. Very, very confident for a debut actor in, yeah. an, in, a, in a new language. So I think that that's amazing because, yeah. you know, when there's confidence, kind of the doubts don't really matter. Yeah. So yesterday when I was speaking to Vaishnav, I understood that both of you all, you know, started work through Instagram, social media. You know, when he said people started approaching him only after, you know, he started posting his pictures on social media and you had the same thing. Yes. So hypothetically, you know, if there's no Instagram and there's no social media, what would you be doing now? You know, like I said, first I told you, when you asked me about self-love, I told you it yeah. came from social media. But like everything, there's always, with, with a curse, there is a boon as well. Yeah. And social media is an excellent, excellent platform, I believe, to put yourself out there, especially in the fields like these, where you know, you want to be spotted and found and, um, Definitely would have been a lot harder if Instagram was not there. Then, you know, I would have had the classic <laughs> styles of, you know, portfolios, yeah. going door to yeah. door to every production house, introducing. That would have also been kind of interesting, I don't know. Yeah. Alternative <laughs> reality, but, but this, was, this was easier, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, please tell audience, you know, about Ranga Ranga Vaibhavanga and what they can expect out of you in the movie. Okay, well, uh, Ranga Ranga Vaibhavanga is a beautiful, beautiful family entertainer. It's a gorgeous love story. Uh, Vaishnav plays Rishi, I play Radha. And um, you know, just a Krishna Radha ki love yeah. story yeah. is just, we, we, we've tried to create something beautiful and bring to you. And um, I am very sure that everyone is going to be entertained because um, I love the graph of the film. It has all emotions captured beautifully. Please take every family member of yours because you all are going to be having a good time. And uh, my character, um, uh, she is a very loving girl. She loves with all her heart. Yeah, she likes to trouble Rishi a little bit because Rishi <laughs> troubles her a lot. So she's no less, you know, she wants to trouble him. But uh, she really loves him and she loves her family and she's a family oriented girl and she's a career oriented girl and she's love oriented. So I think uh, you all will absolutely love her. She is. A girl next door, Telugu Ammai, and uh, <laughs> yes, so y'all are all gonna really enjoy my character and this movie, and I can't wait for y'all to watch it because I'm sure they're gonna love it. Yeah, we can't uh, watch to we can't wait, wait to, to watch, watch it. <laughs> it was Thank lovely you. talking to you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you so much.